What up, YouTube? Man, picked up my fishing poles. Started doing a little fishing, man. Car burned me out. And work been crazy, so just been kind of throwing some poles in the water. Ain't catching no fish. Been seeing these guys use these bait boats. They're going way out in the water, blah, blah, blah. Find the deep holes with these little bait boats. Pretty expensive. Don't look to be the greatest. Um, they're kind of poopy design. They look really slow. I've, had, I've got a little experience in RC cars and what I was seeing wasn't what I wanted so I kind of started to think well maybe I can make my own bait boat you know out of a boat you know like a good little boat something that's kind of quick I don't want to go fast I just want it to be fast enough that I'm not waiting all day <laughs> to put a bait in the water so get damn thing out there get it back right that's the plan so here's what I come up with And I bought a blackjack from Horizon Hobbies. I got it on sale, so this thing was all completely ready to go. Two hundred dollars, two oh nine. I paid for the boat, ready to go, remote, everything. No batteries, no charger. I bought the charger and four batteries. Hard case, lipos, fifty two hundred milliamps. I bought four batteries and a charger for a hundred dollars off amazon all right never even thought i would ever say that but yeah four they're probably not the best batteries okay i know there's probably some critics oh them there's no 5200 milliamps here i don't care there's four of them for 60 bucks so that was pretty good but is what i did let's see here let's see if i can't yeah well, yeah i got that thing charging a little lid goes on there like such right and that bait sits right there now I had to do a little bit of uh, finagling or whatever figuring oh, oh, wrong way I always do that I had to do some figuring because when I put it all together the boat didn't want to ride right on the water it was just kind of standing up and I had all the weight in the back plus this it wasn't riding right so I had to move the battery that's why as you can see the battery isn't in its spot I put it up there and that right there fixed it it made it all better I kind of I straightened out the trim too because it was like it was kicked back to where it was really raising the front of the boat up so I changed the trim on it because it's got a trim adjustment it's got a trim adjustment as you can see it's got a trim adjustment oh no, no, you can't see it. This, this little boat has a trim adjustment so that you can trim the boat out. There it is. You can raise and lower the prop. You can uh, raise and lower the trim. So water cooled, all that shit. But my whole thing is, is I don't give a fuck about the boat. Pardon my language. I don't give a frig about that boat. All I wanted to do is drop my bait. That's it, right? So I went and got some plexiglass. I scored it with a knife and snapped it all. Okay, it was real easy. I took some epoxy and I epoxied it all together and got all this really good and epoxy. Okay. So this actually does not leak water. You put this in the, in the water, you put this boat in the water and nothing, nothing comes in so it's it, it actually is is awesome <clears throat> i have put um nine ounces of weight in the back of it with all of my all the set oh way more fully charged awesome let's take that off that's awesome man because i was out there playing with it for a little bit i just wanted to see how many milliamps it took and it only took 308 so that's this these batteries should last for quite some time Let's get this let's get this on here for you. And then you'll be able to see. There we go. So that's how this, this that's how that looks. It literally holds the bait right there. I've put, like I say, nine ounces of weight back here with my hook and my leader and all my floats and everything. Put a chunk of uh styrofoam on my hook. And I put it in my swimming pool lock the line and let it drive and pull the boat out or the bait off the back of the boat while it was moving and it didn't i mean you would think that it would stand the boat up you know like you would think that 
it does not it does not stand it up it just pulls it right off the back yeah I've, I've free spooled the line put the bait in there and took off and it pulls the line just fine so it doesn't need no more pitch than what is there you don't want it you just want it to come right off the back of the boat but like I say I've got three hundred dollars I got three hundred dollars okay it was literally three hundred and eight dollars I think for the boat or well no let me rephrase that because I bought a fifteen dollar piece of plexiglass and a five dollar thing of epoxy so I've got three hundred and twenty dollars in this right but if you compare this to the other bait boats that are out there yeah they flip the shit out of there okay cool we're not I'm not fishing for carp I'm fishing for catfish so I'm just gonna put my bait in there and get it out there well um, the the good thing about it is is if you go this route you get a good charger this charges up to nine amps so it'll charge a 5200 milliamp battery in 40 minutes all right now you ain't getting no 5200 milliamp battery with one of them generic ass boats that they're selling online one of them bait boats online um charged in 40 minutes you ain't getting four batteries for 60 bucks that's four hard case lipo batteries 50 c um 5200 milliamp 7.4 volt two cells all right four of them all right they charged up good no problems come with dean's connectors uh, charger come with Dean's connector on the only damn thing I had to change was the damn uh, ESC so that I could put the uh, connect my batteries to it all right I'm going the only thing that I'm gonna do from this point on because this right here guys works great you build this same thing right here same thing see how much pitch is on the back back there yada 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 you ain't got to build it like you can make it look a little different Try to keep the weight down. You want to keep that weight down, man, on this. Make it as light as possible. So, one thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to mount a little deal right here that holds a plastic pole that's really light. Okay, it's like super light. Ain't got no weight to it. I bought an LED light kit that plugs into um, the, e or the receiver so that I can run lights to it and I'm gonna have like two red lights facing the back two green lights facing the front and then there it's six lights that come with it so I'm gonna do two white lights off the side that way I can indicate that the damn thing's turning but I'll have red going away from me and green coming back that way at night I can I can still use this thing you know but um I think that this was the way to go and i think this is the way that you guys should all go i mean if you're thinking about a bait boat you're wondering if you don't even know what the hell a bait boat is you take your bank you take your you take your your fishing pole you unlock your spool you put whatever you're casting out right here put it in this boat and drive it out versus throwing it out now we all know how it is man trying to i mean imagine Dude, you could put livers in here and cast livers out a mile. Um, nobody can cast livers that far. You see what I'm saying? Because you got to be gentle with them. You can cast livers 350 yards out if you want. You know what I mean? I don't know about 350 yards. That's crazy. But you go 350 feet easy from the bank with this. It's got a 500 meter range. So, I mean, that's like 1,500 feet. So, I mean, you can't see this thing from that far. No way. But... I mean, you could easily get this thing out two to three times farther than you can cast. So, guys that can't afford a boat but can afford 300, and I'm going to have 350 in this thing by the time it's said and done. And that's going to be with lights, a bait area to hold my bait, and um, four batteries and a charger, man. I mean, if you're not out running this thing like it's supposed to be, it's got a, um, here's the remote. And it's got some settings on it to where, you know, because everybody wants to just grab a hold, grip and rip, right? Well, you can turn the throttle down to 50, 75, or 100%. Well, I turned it all the way down to 50, and then it's got a throttle rate. So, like, how fast the throttle comes in, I even turned that down. So, that way that it doesn't want to jerk so fast that it pulls my bait out of the back of the boat before I get to my destination. 
but really cool little deal and like I say I might do another video once I put the lights on it I ordered those I, I didn't know for sure if this was gonna work so I didn't want to go spending a shit ton of money trying to make it you know dressing it all up I wanted to just kind of do the basics and make sure that it was gonna drop my bait and do what I wanted I was kind of worried that when the weight would slide out that it would press the back and lift the front of the boat up and make a wheel stand and kind of get teetery well it does not 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 even a little bit it doesn't get caught on these little things i've tried it like 10 times already it just slides right out of the back of here no worries it goes but if you compare this to other bait boats look this black jack up it's called the black jack it's a 24 inch boat so it's the black jack 24 um compare it up look the videos watch this boat go on the water watch one of the bait boats go in the water on a video if you're gonna if you're gonna fish a still pond you'd probably be all right with the bait boat just 15 minutes of getting it out there and back but if you go onto a lake with waves it ain't happening you got to have something like this this thing's got uh, it goes 30 mile an hour so i mean it's the bait boats i think might go three mile an hour i mean i'm dead serious look at the videos they'll prove it i'm not talking shit so and like i say i'm not trying to down anybody i understand the bait boats kick the baits off and everything and oh it's going to get caught in their propeller it doesn't okay i've tested it it just pulls right out the boat keeps going the bait doesn't come nowhere near any of this shit all right so it works it is a success I was contemplating going and buying an actual boat because I was tired of not being able to get out there, you know, to catch these big fish. I want to get down in these deep holes. I want something big. So, um, to get to a big hole, this is the key. So, you combine this with some Navionics and, and you could find you some really holes. Like, uh, I got a Navionics map on my thing and it, and it works. So, anyway. Till the next time.